Hey, man. Toxic gang, empire, all rise. It's JC400, and we're here. Today, we're going to talk about the hierarchy of life. We're going to talk about your place as a man in the hierarchy of life. Yeah. Big shit. So, let's start with this simple example, this simple diagram, right? It goes the most high. Then man. Then woman. Then child. Let's start with the child, man. The child, and when I say woman, then child, that only matters. That only lasts from the ages of around zero to 10 at the highest. Then the child has to really gain leadership from the father. But let's start with the child, man. The child was held by the woman created by man and woman idea being able to do that came from the most high. So the child man being held in the woman, the woman being the main caregiver for the child is mandatory, especially for the early years. The father is, is out there hunting, bringing back the prizes for the family. And she is handling the children for the adolescents. The adolescent ages, man. Your woman has to be able to do that. Your woman has to be able to nurture the children. Women derive pleasure and fulfillment from children and family and community. So your woman has to be able to nurture those children and take care of them and mold them while they're younger. That doesn't mean... Man, it does not mean you not in your child's life, bro. That's not what I'm saying. That just means that you are still in your bag. And when you get back from being in your bag for your family, you taking care of the children too. You giving structure and guidance to your little ones. She may be changing the diapers, fixing the food, playing with them. She may be doing most of that, but that don't mean that you not there. You there, bro. You the icing. Really, I'm not even going to use that because you the cake. You the tray. You everything. She like the icing. Uh, the cherry on top. But that's what your woman got to be able to do for your kids, man. And then it comes to you. You have to be able to structure and guide your woman. Think about it, man. When you structure and guide and dominate your woman, it goes down to the kids because now she sees, I have a strong man. Anything that happens in the world, he can handle that. So I can put all of my energy into these children. That's why it's so important to dominate your woman. Guide your woman. You have to. Because then she's going to prioritize what she needs to prioritize. If she's running wild, she will not prioritize what's important. We see that today. You leave a woman to her own mind, her own idle mind, chaos comes after. I ain't make this shit up. So as a man, you have to always put your purpose first. Let me tell you why. Most men will say... JC400, she didn't put my family first and my family come first, especially my woman. You know, that's my woman, JC. So she gotta come first. She come over the bed. Oh, for real? You know what? Let me tell you something. Jack, the moment you put your woman first, she gonna crash the household. She gonna crash the kids. She gonna crash you. She gonna crash your wallet. You basically saying she got to go be the breadwinner. When you put your woman first, don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. You heard his voice? See, this is why you got to be the breadwinner. 
You got to be the leader because you are the only one who thinks logic first. Your woman damn sure don't. And your kids at a young age, they don't, they can't process emotion and logic at the same level that both of y'all can. If you put your woman first, man, you're accepting a reality filled with emotion. I'll be damned. I'll be damned if I accept that. Straight up. But I'ma lead, get the bread, guide my woman so that she can guide the kids. And when they get older, they can really start to comprehend my true guidance and my true structure. Then we get to the most high. The most high is within you, men. Your woman gains access from, to the most high through you, men. But a majority of you value women first. You value something that was made as a complimentary for us. You value something that we were sent here to have leadership over, to guide them in the right direction. That's why we're here. Because we are in the image of the Most High. We have a direct link to the Most High. The Most High is right here. Straight up. That's why I preach internal work, man. When you do internal work, what you're doing is work that connects you to the Most High. The Most High is within every man. The most high is within every living thing. Men have the most direct link to the most high. That's why every real genuine content creator preaches finding your purpose because that is your mission. No matter what happens in your life, doing your purpose, completing your purpose will shadow that shit out. This is a hack, this is a secret. Being on your path, being on your purpose takes away any negativity in your life. It makes you invincible. You heard me right. Being on your purpose steadfast makes you invincible. Your girl could leave you. Your family could cross you. Your friends could cross you. Your kids could cross you. The world could hate you. But as long as you want your purpose, you don't give a fuck. Peace, love, prosperity. Nine, nine, nine. Hey, Amen. You know I love this shit. It's JC400. And we out.